One of these days. One of these days, I swear it's going to be me who drinks you under the table. Yeah, sure. By under the table, you mean retching on my boots half the night. I reckon one of those days was yesterday. Ha ha. You think you're so funny. But just wait till we crack open the bottle I left in your chambers. That stuff's strong enough to burn the horns off a behemoth. Sounds like I'll be needing some new boots. Do you think they'll come back? Uh, is there anything else here specifically? Nah, seems not. We'll do the missives, then we'll check out the curiosities. I just figure it, it probably makes more sense for me to finish off the rest of the quest, right? And get everything, and then do the missives, go talk to Tomes. Uh, I, I, it has, I, I gotta be, maybe, maybe Tomes only does go up to level eight. Nah, it probably goes up a little bit more than that, right? Hmm. And now my I help the garrison today. I don't know. I'm not incredibly sure. But I gotta finish tomes. Honestly, I don't mind the quests because we care about these people. Yeah, right. I agree. I agree. Uh, I I think it, it's really good, and I, I I do think for an RPG. You got to be invested, right? But it's kind of funny, though. Like, if you only wanted to do the main story, this game would actually be pretty short. Like, if you just zoom from main story quest to main story quest, the game would be over. Uh, it's only been going this long because I've been doing everything. And honestly, I think my experience with the game has been all the better for it. Because I've gotten to interact with the characters a lot more. I've gotten to know a lot more about them. Meadows are vast. Where do we even start? Yote mentioned the coastline. We can start there. So it's been it's been really good. Hey, here we go. We found him. And slain. Maybe. Maybe so don't kill all of them. Oh no, it did. It killed uh, the majority. I do. The flowers and our friends. Yeah. Oh, good job, Torgal. Oh, what's he see? What do you spy, Torgal? What do you see, boy? A minotaur, huh? Alright. Let's hope this is the last one. Okay. Only one way to find out. Yeah. And halfway. I mean, maze ball, right? There you go, that was a good dodge. New enemies approach, really. Mm. Yeah, we hit him with this. Not going to get us to max, but it should be pretty close. And then we can hit him with this. And then he's dead. It's over. How about you guys? Oh, you're all the way up there. Oh, I missed. Yeah, steal Torgo's kill. I'm sorry, Torgo. You've stolen enough of mine. At least I can do is steal some of yours, right? Minotaur main. Yeah, I'll take it. That was harder than I expected. Yeah, 
Now, which one do we pick? But found her. It was worth it. They're beautiful. They're pretty nice. Do you think Jill will like them? She'll love them. Come on. Let's go. Is he going to teleport us somewhere? It did. Okay. Well, good thing I got all my stuff in San Brick done. It appears my work is done. The rest, as they say, is up to you. Well, you and the skies. We wouldn't want another thunderstorm now, would we? All right. All right. Now, what's going to happen with Jill? What is going to happen with Jill? So where is she? Oh, she's in my room. That makes sense. Well, we can get the missive done and check out the other curiosity, I suppose. After that, how many more quests do we have? Should only be a few, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we only have five looking total. Hey, Jill. Jill. Time to share a romantic moment with you. There's something I'd like to show you. There is? And where might this something be? It's, uh, not here. No, I know oh, we're taking her to the something. thing. We didn't actually pick a flower. I fancy a trip to Oriflam. All right. I thought, we, I thought we'd pick a flower. I guess it's true we didn't. I guess the whole point is to show her the field, right? This is what you wanted to show me. I, I, I don't know what to say. You don't need to say anything. The smile on your face is enough. Uh. We've been worried about you. Joshua and I. You remember when I took you to Man's Hill? Or <laughs> tried to. How could I forget? You saw me crying and thought a change of scenery might lift my spirits. In the end, it earned me a nasty cough and a stern scolding from your mother. But I felt wonderful nonetheless. I'm sorry. I had no idea what I was getting us both into. But I couldn't bear to see you like that. Before we left, my chambermaid told me she'd overheard your mother talking about my marriage prospects with some of the noblewomen at court. They were debating whether it would be more profitable to marry me off to one of the high houses instead of saving me for the ducal line. Hmm. No one thought to ask me what I wanted. I was nothing to them. A pawn at best. I felt so trapped. So lonely. I didn't know. But I wasn't alone. You were there. Your hand in mine as we ran for those oaks. And I knew then, no matter what happened, I would be alright. I'll never forget that feeling. Quest complete? No, not yet. After this, I guess. Oh, she can pick a flower for me, and that's going to be my curiosity. Oh, flower crown. Right? Is that what that is? Yeah, it is, yeah. Before we broke camp... The morning after the storm. Do you know what I did? No. What? I slipped away from my governess to climb the tor. And from there I saw a sea of petals, all reaching for the sun. And I realized... 
No matter how terrible the night, dawn would always come. There's Atlanta again. That you, that you would always come for me. And you have again and again. That's pretty true. Where do you see us? When all this is over. Ooh. I don't know. Not here though. I think I've outgrown the twins. Oh, we're gonna move to a different continent? After everything we've been through. The realm just seems so small. I could see that. I'll need some space to spread my wings. Then that's what you'll have. And I'll stop at nothing to see that you do. I got, I got, I legit got something in my eye, but this is very touching. I never was much good at garlands, but it'll have to do. I'll treasure it forever. Thank you, Clive. For this, the flowers, uh, everything. It's exactly what I needed. You are my treasure. That's actually really good. That's really sweet. We should probably be getting back. I expect the others are wondering where we are. You're right. There's still much to do. And we'll do it together. See, without doing any of this, wouldn't it feel just so, like, not as good to just, like, go and finish the game, you know? A fragrant diadem, handwoven by Jill from flowers picked on the shores of Oliphist Bay. Oliphist Bay. I never was much good at garlands, but it'll have to do. I didn't look at Shiva's kiss. I mean, I'm not going to use Shiva's kiss, but I should still at least see what it does. Oh, Jill's here now. Jill has joined class party and will remain with him until departing for origin. So she's just here with me now. That's really nice. Uh, let's go have a look at the gear that I got. That's a good cooldown time reduction. I'm not going to use it, but it's, it's good. It's good. Joining hands. Now nah, we're holding hands. Exactly. Uh, so, uh, just speaking of joining and holding, let's go in and give Torgal my pet too. It's been a bit. And I've been neglecting Torgal. Not intentionally, mind you, but... I haven't been giving him much, much attention lately. Um. Good God, is it just these three? Oh man. Oh no, we're almost done. No, no, I don't want it to be over. Okay, so how close am I? Yeah, that one's not too far off. I can't summon... Can't summon, uh... Ambrosia. Okay. Wait until we're out of the town first, I suppose. I'm 
Journey for Balamung Dark. I don't remember which one this is. We picked up a lot of quests. It's really hard to keep an eye or to keep a, a solid memory of each of them and what it is I'm exactly supposed to do. This is no time to ride. It will be soon. Okay, fine, Clive. When we get out of these gates, then it'll be time to ride. Yep, immediately as we're out of the gates. Gotcha. Going the right way, yeah? I'm not. No, I went the wrong way. Oh, what? Wait. Oh, that one's not even one I have. Oh my God, there's more than, oh, there's more than one. What am I doing? What am I doing? I don't have that one pinned. So I went the wrong way. Ah, I mean, it's not a big deal. It's going to take me like a few extra moments. Sure, but it's not like it's that big of a deal, really. Sorry, just gonna do a little something right quick as well. Just really, really fast. Well, I continue. Wait, am I going the right way? No, I'm not. I need to go farther this way. And then this way. Yes. Go away, tarantulas. Yeah, it's further on down. I don't want to fight. Dun, 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 ba, dun, dun, dun. Might this be Mickleburg? Have I been in here? Rest. Wait a minute. Shoot, do I have Jill with me too? Oh yeah, she is here. Okay, nice. So it's kind of like a little reward, I suppose. Yeah, we haven't been to Mickleburg yet. That's right. These people aren't turned. The village seems safe enough at least. Hmm. What is going on here? Weird. Ah. Did you too heed? Yeah, sure. These guys are like part of the new the cult. Call. I think, right? No, I. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking something else. Someone. To be honest, I. I wasn't sure I'd find him here. Let alone all of you. Oh no, I think this is the cult that they mentioned. So. What are you doing here? Maybe. Maybe is I'm misremembering. Where you live. It is my home. The others, they, they heeded the call. Hmm. You keep saying that. What do you mean? I don't like the music. They came here. It's really they ominous. The right, just as King Barnabas instructed. This village is their altar, where they shall cast their shoals upon the gentle their waters shows. and give themselves to the Lord. Give themselves. Oh, Lord, cleanse us of our sins. Let us be reborn in your loving arms. Hmm. Free us from the torment of this mortal realm. Yeah, they may be a bit too far gone. They want to be saved. Forgive me. But did another foreigner like me come here? He was probably wearing a cowl. You mean the traveler from stone? Yes. He's staying at my house. Toward the rear of the village. That seems so ominous. Thank you. That seems so if ominous. Mind, I'll go and greet him. They seek the same salvation Barnabas did. <laughs> At least the third chair still lives. Let's go and find him.
Uh, it's so ominous. This is actually really spooky. Like, this is actually spooking me out a decent bit. Just trying to make sure I get in all the little nooks and crannies. Yeah, because we have a lake over here. There's nothing here, though. Specifically. We have the house there. Then we have this little area, like, along here that I want to check out as well. Uh, before we leave. Assuming... Assuming everything is actually fine. Okay, he is here. He's not... See, I'm not gonna lie. Part of me thought he they'd pull a Resident Evil 4 or something and he would just be, like, dead. And I'd be like, oh, no. The Chronicles of Maikvar, being a collection of tales as you're counted to his most exalted majesty, Lord Bjornhard of the Veldermark. As you're no doubt aware, Lord Bernhard, there was once a race of men who commanded the most forbidden of forbidden magics. But did you ever tell of the execution of the executors, those charged with driving out these heretics? The order had its origins in the Crystalline Dominion, by whose rulers decree it was tasked with the protection of mankind and sent forth to extinguish the forbidden magic, wherever rumors of its use might arise. Having in due course succeeded in their mission and driven the utterers of the unutterable from the land, these secretive souls withdrew from the stage of history, never to be heard from again. That's right, we're getting a book. I forgot about that. We're, we're getting a, a book. A forbidden book. Excuse me. Are you with the Undying? I am. And so it would appear... Are you... I, mean, I do have Joshua with me, so... Lord Rosfield, if I am not mistaken. That's right. And you must be the third chair. I am. Cyril was worried for your safety. He sent me to find you. Then I must apologize. Oh, wait, no, we're looking for the book for one of them. This might not be that close. The bearer of the burning quill, much less you, my Lord Marquis. He said that you had failed to report. Is there a reason mm. for that? I came here to study the followers of this new faith. But I heard my mouth. But the more I learned of them, the more my own faith began to falter. Ah. You have seen them at their prayers, have you not? They devote themselves to the veneration of their Lord with a fervor I have never seen before. Praying night and day that they might be rid of their wicked wills and reborn in their Savior's light. Not that they might be granted respite from their worldly woes, but so that they might continue to serve him. Yeah, it's kind of weird, actually, with serve this context. With all of their beings. Because I have the context that I too Ultima made everybody. My life to the so he is the god. And, master, and all the other religions in this world are incorrect. Right? Like different. I kind of have that knowledge. It is more. Which is interesting to think about. And so I would see it through to the end. See these people safe, that they might achieve their dream. That they might do their duty to their Lord. Even if it should keep me from doing my duty to mine. You do understand what their dream is, don't you? I do, my lord. They would cast aside their wills and become a Kashik. I know that it may be hard to believe, but to these people, that is the very essence of salvation. Forgive me, my lord, but I must remain here. If you are to return to Master Cyril, I would consider it a great... Oh. Did you hear that, my lord? Something is happening. Ominous. What? Stay Very here. ominous, in fact. Ooh. Oh, it came a oh, it became a Kashik. Oh no. Oh no. That isn't good. There must be something I can do. as well. 
found her. Yeah, I know, right? Oh no. I mean, to be fair, this isn't really that bad. For me, at least. For them, yeah. More of them? No, no more. Okay. No, no. Wait. Oh. Oh. I just had a thought. We still have those doors that haven't opened yet. I haven't checked in a long time. Maybe I should check and just see if those like weird doors have opened. We meet again. Hey, Titus. I've killed your kind before. I was gonna say I did it too early. Okay, we should be able to nail this. Not easy. You're nothing, Titus. You're nothing. Okay, you are hurting me a little bit. I will give you that. You are causing me some pain. Okay, see, you weren't supposed to hit me like that. Okay, we'll do this. We'll giga flare it. Let's make him down to half health. He's on level 40. It shouldn't be it shouldn't be that extensive. We hit him with this. Now hit him with the wax of the blade itself before doing this. And I think that should give us level five. I'm pretty sure. Ah, oh, we're so close. I need to like one more hit. That's fine. See, now that's a decent combo. Okay, we'll be fine. We'll be good. We'll be good. Okay, I don't know. I don't know why I'm so bad at that one. Potion needs to be safe. Mm, okay, I don't like us getting hit by that, but. I guess at least it will let us go through. And dead. Dead. Look at that. Not bad. Now, do I get anything cool? Maybe another Ori Calcum? Oh, the third chair. Damn, dude, that. Okay, that's that I didn't see coming. Don't you die? Come on, speak to me. I think he's gonna die, Clive. That he took that like right through the middle, dude. I had to save them. 
they might have a chance to find true salvation by devoting themselves to the service of their Lord. Just as I did when the Undying plucked me from the gutter and gave me a cause to believe in. Duty to serve was everything to me and I would not deny them that fulfillment even if they must become a Kashik in order to achieve it. Forgive me, my Lord Marquis. I did not mean to trouble you with this. Very well, third chair. My findings. Could you deliver them to Master Cyril for me? Of course. Your duty will be done. Look, my lord, they are saved. Do they turn? Or like, are they actually saved? No, nah, they turned. Man, that's a bit of a downer. That's a downer ending to that one, isn't it? Wow. Okay, well, it teleported me here, so sure, I'll take it. Why not? Sometime later. I was going to just in my seat. They are saved. Found that. I should get this report to Cyril. Zam, dude, what a downer ending for that quest. Jeez, I'm actually really shocked that that's the route it went. My Lord Marquis. Yeah, I've glad. seen some things, Cyril. I'm glad to see you hail and whole. I met with your third chair, Cyril. He bade me deliver his findings to you. The third chair's report into the teachings of the Anashian Savior cult. Its outer edges stained with the same man's lifeblood. Thank you, my lord. He remained in ash. He's he dead. Protecting the villagers from yeah. the echo. I buried him in Mickleburg. I'm sorry that I couldn't save him. If you could not save him, no one could. The villagers, they were believers. In this savior cult, they prayed to their god that they might be unburdened of their wills. Then an ether flood came, and their wish was granted. I guess that's true in a weird way. Sacrificed himself that they I guess they got live, what they wanted, kind of. Even knowing that that life was death by another name. Then he perished defending liberty, a hero's end. For the right to choose how one dies is no less sacred than the right to choose how one lives. <laughs> Sid would agree. He wanted to build a world where people could die on their own terms. A noble ambition. To die for one's cause is the most perfect expression of one's faith. It matters not how misguided others might judge one's decision to be. Only that the decision is one's own. I mean, that's fair. According to the teachings of our order. We believe in them. We protect them. And yes, we die for them. For better or worse, that is our creed. But he didn't die for your creed. He died to save them. And you still believe that what he did was right. I believe that he believed it was. We of the Undying are not slaves, but willing servants. 
And this was his will. The ultimate expression of it. <sighs> all right. I mean, yeah, I, I guess. This man's name, Cyril. To know the names of all the undying who've fallen in the line of duty. Hey, give me a list. They died serving my house. It's only right that I remember them. That is my duty. Of course. I shall fetch the Book of Martyrs at once. They have a whole book? My lord, it has been, and shall ever be, the greatest honor of my life to serve House Rosfield. Hmm. Though our duties may differ, yours is no less important. I pray with all my heart for your success. And were they here, I have no doubt but that every one of my fallen brothers and sisters would feel the same. Jeez, that quest. Uh, Bass says I should collect all the quotes in this game and keep it in a book somewhere. It'd be pretty good, to be honest. I got the other Orichalcum, nice. Because there are a lot of good quotes. I'm, I'm going to be real. The emblem of the Undying's headquarters and Tabor. The village is home to the finest leather workers and lapidaries in Dalmechia, who are little aware that they're affable, affable. New neighbors are members of a secret society sworn to serve the Phoenix. And I got my other Ori Kaltum. So yeah, we're working out pretty good. Working out quite good. How many curiosities are left? I think only a couple. I don't think we have that many more left. I think we'll definitely get them by the time we're done with all these quests, I'm pretty sure. And then after that, we go there, we have a look, we read tomes again, and then I guess we're off to the to the other final, final uh, thingy. Although, there was another door around, but I don't remember where that was. I might need to look that one up. If they are open, they might not be. That's a good point, though. I do actually want to have a little, a quick little peek, just to see if a certain thing opened up. Rural Meadows, where's East Pool? Where's East Pool again? Oh, East Pool is uh, up here, right? Yeah. Go from the dim. Uh, okay, now did this open up or not? This could be DLC. I know they said they're working on DLC. So this could be a DLC thing. Uh, but it should be just a little up over this way. If it even does anything, maybe it doesn't. Yet. Right? It, it could be a DLC thing. I would not be surprised. So I want to say it's like over here. You deserve a rest. Yeah, no, so that's nothing. It's probably DLC then. DLC, new game plus, maybe post game. I'm not really, not really too sure. Uh, doesn't really matter, though, I suppose. And I think these three quests are pretty far along. I don't think they'll take that long to finish, either. So then we'll actually go to the final area and then complete the game. I might need to message Megan, though, and tell her that I'm probably going to be a bit late. Ready, go? Not that she'll mind, of course, but I'm probably just gonna need to, to let her know that food might Doris need to be on her tonight. Almond dark. The longer she's out in the open, the more likely she is to be found by a Kashik. I need to hurry. Caution, brother. Caution, brother. I will be no such thing. Button. Okay, we can just slaughter you. Never mind. Not 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 as easy as I was hoping. Okay, we'll just do this. Oh, 
These guys just give really good XP, so I figure it's probably worth actually killing them. Dupli kill. Oh, that's right. I forgot about you. Yeah, that's right. Fairy. On purpose. Totally intentional. Uh, another fairy again. Also totally intentional. Oh, wait, 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 wait. end him it, it would if he didn't have stagger okay it did it did good good now look at all the ability points i have jesus i got a ton i don't even need them anything i anything i purchase now through that is going to be just purely just to have it really there were no guards i take it None manning the gates, no. It's a different story inside, though. The corridors are crawling with the Kashuk. Most likely guards left behind when the wardens ran. If Chadwick was being held here, I worry that he may already be. That's okay, we can try to save him still. Just yet, but let's move quickly. Let me check the ground floor. The ether's thick is there. Then I'll search the upper level. Good luck, Sid. Stay safe. Okay, we'll do that. I didn't know they were making DLC, actually. I assume we'll have enough to get everything. I think we'll have enough to get everything, probably. All the floods inside the walls. Uh, but yeah, I, I heard they're making DLC. I'm not too sure. I'm not sure. Sorry, Clive. Better keep my eyes open for signs of life. I'm not too sure what the DLC entails, mind you. Like, for all I know, it might just be... It might just be, uh... Like, costumes or something. Uh, they'll, they'll probably do that. I'm not too sure what the DLC could be. The Kingdom of Elude hereby designates this facility a prison for the detainment of bearers, both foreign and domestic. The purpose of this facility is to rear and train a Kuza beast for deployment in the field. The aforementioned purpose is a matter of strict, strict, strictest secrecy. And any mention thereof is to be punishable by death. Captive bearers have been provided solely for the pursual of the aforementioned purposes. Express permission is required for use of bearers in any other capacity. So this place was no ordinary prison. Mm. And I doubt they'll have taken the creature with them when they fled. Yeah, no, it's definitely here. Don't know what it could be. Some kind of behemoth, maybe? This is interesting though, this is neat. It's like its own little lore section. Recommendation concerning Kuza beast deployment. The Kuza has long been recognized as an especially aggressive species. This being the case, it is hoped that successful deployment on the battlefield might be a means of inflicting heavy casualties on the enemy. In exercises conducted thus far, however, the beast has proven incapable of distinguishing between allied and enemy combatants. As such, deployment alongside regular troops is not recommended. It is proposed instead that bearer captives be employed in order to draw enemy focus, and the beast uh, then driven into the fray in order to achieve maximum benefit with minimal loss of eluder lives. Minimal loss of eluder lives. And what happens when they run out of bearers? Yeah, it doesn't make you wonder. Imperials take better care of their branded than that. 
You're pretty sad, like, to think about. A memorandum on Kuza Beast feeding. Recent supply shortages left us, left us with insufficient resources to feed the Kuza. Interested in our care. Unfortunately, fortunately, the creature was observed to kill and consume the bearers assigned to fight beside it in a mock battle conducted as part of its training. The beast was further observed to enter a state of visible contentment upon feeding in this way, suggesting that live bearers may even be its preferred source of sustenance. While its behavior is unexpected, it is not unwelcome. Bearers no longer of use for training purposes can now be repurposed as required. That's awful. Jeez. They were feeding bearers to it. This is even worse than I feared. That is actually very terrible. That's that's absolute like mad lad stuff. Nothing but a cache down here. Hopefully things are looking better upstairs. I should go and see how Doris is getting on. That's awful, man. I don't know. I I can't even imagine like how terrible that actually is. That's that's absolutely awful. So what's over here? Anything? Okay, it's just the other way then. I thought I could go this way, but I guess not. Yeah, okay, I guess not. I went the correct way by accident. Man, that's rough though. Imagine, imagine that being your life, right? Like you're a slave, you're beaten, you're, you know, absolutely like ridiculed and like no one cares about you at all. And then all of a sudden, like you lose your quote unquote purpose and then it's like, okay, well now you're just fed to this big creature. Now you're just food. Like slavery itself is bad enough. You know, slavery itself is awful. But now when you're going and saying like, yeah, you're just food now. Like that, I don't know, it just seems like even worse. Okay, so that's where, I, that's where I need to go. I need to go to the opposite side. So we'll go over here first. See what, if anything, is in here. An empty shard. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, okay, just goody. Just the goody, sure. Company. And ignition. Yeah, I don't know. The, this whole world is just like really messed up. Uh, Doris, how'd you even get past those guys? No luck downstairs. But I did find out that this place was more than just a prison. Something far more sinister was happening here. I know. I've been reading some of these documents, and it can't be true, can it? I would hope not, but Bearers die probably every day is. in service of their masters, but oh, this, I'm just gonna message Megan saying I'll probably be late. This is so much worse. Pitting bearers against a wild beast armed with nothing but their wits? And all in order to bring about more death. And not just those who could fight, but the elderly, children even, and those who wouldn't or couldn't were disposed of whatever that means i'm afraid it means they were fed to the monstrosity they kept here then we're too late and i was a fool to bring you here don't say that did you find anything else a key but it doesn't fit any of the locks on this floor perhaps it will fit one of the doors downstairs there's a corridor I haven't searched yet. Finish up here, then come and find me when you're ready. All right. I'll be there in a moment. All right, the jailer's key.
that is the wrong way. I don't know why I went there. In fact, I'm going to be running the stream a little bit late. I also want to just make sure I'm all good on uh, space. Because I'm not going to lie. I was starting to run a wee bit low. So I might need to make some on-the-fly some on the fly adjustments uh, a bit later. For the moment though, I think we'll be good. Yeah, I did let Megan know, don't you worry, don't you worry. Cause yeah, I don't, cause I, uh, yeah, I don't want her thinking like, oh, I'll be, like I don't, like she doesn't ever really care if I run late. I just like to let her know. Uh, cause normally I'm the one that makes food, right? So it's mostly, it's mostly just uh, to let her know that Either she probably has to start on food tonight, or it might be a little bit late. Either way, she doesn't really mind, right? I just want to let her know. <laughs> Let's see what we can find down here. Uh, yeah, what do we have down here? I have a chest. Some amber can sell that. It's like nothing else along here. No, I mean we can go in there, but I assume I need to, uh, probably for the boss fight, because I feel like there's a boss fight incoming. Well, that's a bit scary. Survivor, she sounds close. Hello, child. Who are you? There's no need to be afraid. Are you alone? Are there any other survivors? Some of the guards, they're still here. But something's wrong with them. Everyone else was eaten by the monster. <sighs> of course there were. Thank the founder. I think Chadwick might be dead. Coming, but I'd rather we didn't linger. Are you ready? Ready when you are. You poor thing. He must have been terrified. Chadwick seems. How did Chadwick get out? What? He fought the monster. Ah. Uh. Distracted it so I could run away. He must have sent you. He promised to free the others too. Where is he? He opened your cell, didn't he? He wouldn't be here otherwise. Chadwick. Which Chadwick the legend, dude. Monster's back! Chadwick, help! We have to get out of here. Doris, keep the girl safe. You gotta fight that Doris, monster. You gotta take it down. That bear eating boss yeah, yeah, that's right. That's what we're gonna do. For Chadwick. And for other, oh my God! For me. It's a big behemoth. Let it live. Holy crap! You're huge. Not if it's got you're a taste for bears. No, oh, good thing I have Jill with me too. Ugh, man. I don't have that many potions either. We're just gonna have to work with what we got, I guess. Hopefully he's not too tough. It'll be a challenge, I'm sure, but hopefully not like kill me over and over kind of tough you are a uh, hunt mark all right all right kuza beast will wreak havoc if he never leaves the prison i mean he's only an a rank ow Ow. Okay, use a potion. Oh my god. All right. I was, I was gonna say he's gonna like kick me or something. Okay, I can dodge this. I can still dodge this. Oh, 
Okay, good. It did dodge that. Okay, we can get some health back. Oh my god, I'm so bad at dodging. I was bad at dodging the other behemoth too, like the original behemoth. But still. It, it, it doesn't look like he'd be that hard to dodge though. I just need to get the timing down. But if I do, then it shouldn't be that bad. Like, see, that, that was too early, but it still worked out. Got you down to a quarter. Should be able to get you down to a half. If not a little bit more. Come on, just get up a little bit more. Oh wow, we actually did a lot more damage to him than I thought we would. Don't meteor. Okay, you can comment. That's fine. Hmm. Uh, I'll high potion just to be safe. Just to be on the safer side. Okay, well, there we go. We won. We won. It didn't matter. Hopefully not like a super boss. Only A rank. Yeah, yeah, only A rank. A ranks are getting a bit tougher now, though. I oh, got another shackle. I think I needed another shackle or something. Rest in peace, Kuza Beast. I figured it's probably a behemoth. Finally. Sid, are you hurt? Nah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I think. And then, yes, you're gonna find like Chadwick's arm or something like hanging out the creature's mouth. I know his book. Oh, no. What is it? A diary. I gave it to Chadwick before we went our separate ways. Rip. He was here. Do you think that creature? Probably, but one I can hope not. Fought bravely to the last. The girl is safe thanks to him. Chadwick, you fool. Come on. We have to get her back to the hideaway. We don't want his sacrifice to have been in vain. No, of course not. I'll see that she's looked after from now on. It's the least I can do. Good God, that's sad. This whole section of the game has actually been very, like, it, it's had its happy moments, but it's also been very melancholic to sad, right? Like, it hasn't all been, we saved the day, right? Some of it is, well, we're either a little too late or, yeah, you know, we couldn't do anything, you know? From what I hear, you've barely left the girl's side in days. I hope she's recovering from her ordeal. She is. Slowly, but surely. She's far tougher than she looks. I thank the flames we found her. If we hadn't... I know. But we did. I'm sorry we weren't able to save Chadwick. There's no need to apologize. Without your help, I would never have found out what happened to him. How he fought to the bitter end to save her. To save Heide Marie. Heide Marie is a good I name. Remember. The man I thought of as a brother. I wish I could have met him. I'd like to hear more about your past. If you now we can get some is, more uh, some Doris lore. You already met my former master. She trained Chadwick and I to do two things: kill and obey. We were supposed to be sold to the highest bidder when the time came, but no bid was ever high enough to convince her to part with us. For years, we were her daggers in the shadows, but we could never quite shake our doubts about the things she made us do. And then, one day, we just couldn't do them anymore. So we escaped. 
But staying together was out of the question. They would have found us too easily. After so many years of training, the pull to serve was always strong. It scared me to think he might have taken another master, become a dagger in someone else's hand. But even in captivity, the battles he fought were his own. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Died, not as someone's tool, but as a hero. Heide Marie is proof of that. Bearers can cast off their shackles. And the curse breakers will show them how. I'll fight until my dying breath to see it done. For Chadwick and for all of us. Thank you, Doris. We'll be counting on you. Man. Man, absolute rip, dude. Quest complete. Now we might reach level 49. Okay, so gun gears thingy. The breath of darkness, okay. 